The following is a presentation of TFNN. Let's go to uh, Ed in Indiana. Ed, thanks for a hold and thanks for calling in. How are you today? I'm doing great, Steve. You you have such a gift on giving us stories to help us keep our mind right when we're trading. We got Ed Young on the line. Now we're talking. Now we got a co-host for sure. You know, Steve, I just wanted to call in a little bit of support to you because I always believed that an investor had to be whole-minded and if they couldn't control their emotions, they could read the charts all they want and still hurt themselves. And, and you seem to be so balanced. You have such a good calming influence and all the you know the little uh, antidotes you're constantly putting that in there with the technical analysis and that is so so important and my hat's off to you I'm, I'm still a, a listener and I love what you do and you know I just wanted to call and give my support to you Steve and tell you how much I appreciate it and how much it helps me I can change Let's go over to Don in Odessa, Florida. Don, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Hey, Steve. Thank you. You bet. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm a subscriber to your service, and I just want to let you know that I sure do appreciate what you've done for me. Wow. Couple months here. Thank you very, very much. Let's go to Mike and Brandon. Mike, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Hey, I, I, I love your show. Your show is great. You're, you know, good common sense about everything, and you're laid back, and you're clear when you talk, and that means a lot to, you know, a beginning investor. Let's go to uh, Susan in Boca. Susan, thanks for holding. Thanks for calling. Yo, Steve, thanks for being there. And I just have one thing to say, just an update from the last time I called you. Yes. I was a subscriber. Yes. Just to your trial. Yes. Subscription. And now I'm a bona fide member. Oh, I love it. I love it. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the July 10th, wonderful Wednesday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely, I mean absolutely, treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks... That's really what it's all about. So let's go look at one of our tools. This is a tool that you absolutely want to make sure that you write down. In fact, this tool here has helped me more than perhaps any other tool that I think I've shared. And it's really what I call the four rules for decision making. Rule number one, and this is really important, all important or difficult decisions must be made on paper. Let me say that again because this is such an important sentence. All, and I mean all. I mean every, I mean every single, all important or difficult decisions, they must be made on paper. That means don't do it in your head, because when you try to do it in your head, and it's that important, you usually end up in what I call a loop out there. Now, some of you may be familiar, familiar with this loop if you try to make an important decision in your head. Uh, you know, you start out by saying, hey, that's a good idea, but what if this happens? And then you say to yourself, but what if I do that? And then you start to think about that, and then you say to yourself, but what if this happens again? And then you go back to the first option. So you end up in what I call a loop, and it goes over and over and on and on, and then you end up with basically no resolution. Now, the worst thing about looping, you know, called being looped out here, is that it adds stress and pressure. So picture this. You're trying to make an important decision. And all of a sudden you're doing it in your head and you're getting into this loop and you're adding stress and, stress and pressure to an already difficult decision. I believe that trading and investing 
Okay, these are important decisions, and they're important, they're difficult, and that's why I always write them down on paper. You know, we do that basically here all day long as we take a look at stock charts. Everything is on paper. We take a look at patterns. We identify what's out there. So all important or difficult decisions, folks, must be made on paper. Rule number two, be clear about what it is you really want and why you really want it. You've heard me say this. You have to have strong reasons why you want something. You've also got to be clear about your outcome. I mean, that is what I love about pattern recognition or about Fibonacci relationships, swing points, because A to B equals C to They help us to be clear about our outcome of the trade. And even more important, these tools help us to really measure our outcome. And being able to measure something when it's all down on paper, that makes decisions thousands of times easier. It's about keeping score. You know, the key to following through on any decision is about having a strong reason why. And it always has to it's always been this way. It always will be that way. Number three, rule number three, remember that decisions are based upon probability. And what you want to become is a master of probability. We never wait for total and absolute certainty because rarely do we get it. You know, decisions are based upon the probability. So for those of you that are active traders out there, you know this to be true. Rule number four, remember that all decision-making is, it's value clarification. And what I mean by that is that many times it's hard to make a decision because you don't have one outcome. You have a series of outcomes that you're trying to attain simultaneously. So we go through a, what, you know, what I call a value clarification process. We understand the different outcomes that we want, and we have to understand that we may not get all of our outcomes or that, uh, and that, in fact, if we don't get our outcomes, that we're okay with it. That's what's really the risk aspect of trading. When we take a look at these patterns that we trade, we know there are several outcomes. If we take a look at Gartley buy or sell patterns, we know there are four or five different outcomes. In fact, in the Gartley pattern, the first outcome is going to be your .382 retracement. The second outcome is going to be .618. Your third is going to be .786. Your fourth is going to be that 100% move of move. And then the fifth and ultimate outcome, that's going to be the ultimate, which is the A to B equals CD pattern. So four rules to decision-making. In, in summary, all important or difficult decisions, they must be made on paper. Number two, be clear about what it is you really want, but more importantly, why you really want it. Number three, remember that decisions are based upon probability. Don't wait for absolute certainty because you won't get it. Number four, remember that all decision-making, it's really all about value clarification, and I absolutely value your presence here today. So let's go check out these markets right now. We've got basically a flat market. You've got Dow Futures uh, trading at 15,231. That's up by uh, nine points. Uh, ES Mini trade out at 16,44, down 75 cents. No big deal out there. NASDAQ Futures off a couple of points at 29,71. Russell 2000 down a point out here. We've got uh, some movement in the uh, currency market. You've got the uh, euro up about 37 ticks. We'll take a look at that. A uh, British pound up 28 ticks. That's had a, a horrible time out there. Uh, gold is up eight bucks right now, trading out at 1254. Silver up 10 pennies at 1924. Oh my goodness, light sweet crude. You know, that's up. That's a tear. That's got that 114. That is absolutely on its horizon. It's up two bucks right now, uh, out at 105.45. If we take a quick peek here around the uh, globe, we've got over in uh, Europe, uh, Germany, the DAX is off uh, 12 points, not a big deal there. FTSE off 23. Over in Asia last night, we had the, uh, that was a wild ride in Asia, quite frankly. At one point in time, Hang Sang up, when, uh, we'll go take a look at that market. I think it was about 350 points, and then they came out with some of the numbers in China. Talk about a disappointment, went down to zero real quick. Uh, you had the, uh, but they did finish up 221 points, up 1%. The uh, Shanghai was actually up 2%, up 44 points. Our call in number is 877-927-6648. Give me a call. Be happy to take a look at uh, your stock chart, answer your question, help you identify a pattern out there. Let's begin by actually taking a look here at the uh, Euro Japanese yen. I got the 120 minute chart out on my screen. Talk about outcomes and what we should expect out here as we take a look at this pattern. Just to give us an idea of where the uh, market may be going to uh, today and patterns that are completing because in the currency marketplace, the currency market, the Euro Japanese yen is the currency pattern or the currency pair, I should say. That tracks the U.S. market the uh, best. And what we did find out here is that uh, at about the uh, time frame of uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on July 2nd, what we saw out here was we saw a point, well, close to a point, uh, 618, 786, it really says 70%. We'll call it a 70% uh, Gartley 
uh, sell pattern. It did form that A to B equals C to just slightly over a 1.272 expansion. Remember these numbers that we use, 618, 786, 1.272, 1.618, numbers like that, they give us the guideline for the areas to be looking for reversal patterns out here. In this case here, we see the high came in at a price level of 131.03. That set up basically our D point of a Gartley sell pattern. Now what we've seen here take place so far, if we take a look at our measurement tool out here, we take a look at the uh, time frame, that 130. Uh, 1.10 that took place on July 2nd at 1 p.m. That's your A point. Your B point is going to be right down here, the swing point. Well, we're going to go ahead and use this swing point low here at 5 a.m. on July 5th. It makes a retracement, probably about a 0.618 retracement, up to about 3 a.m. in the morning on July 9th. And what we can see here is completed is a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Folks, you want to talk about, you know, hitting these numbers basically right on the number. A uh, 128.01 is the actual A to B equals CD. It got down to 127.99. You got to love that. Now, if we do take a look at the C to D leg, what we can see here is that price is moving down along the left hand side of that C to D leg. What that suggests to me is that the Euro Japanese yen actually has a little bit further to go to the downside. Now, to to say that the move is over, I would need to see a close above the 5 a.m. session, that would be 128.83. If, in fact, we have more room to the downside here, and that more room to the downside, what this really says to me, it's more likely the 1 to 1.272 that will be the outcome of this trade here. That will take you down into the 0.618 retracement. That will take you into 127.30, uh, and that would set up your next buy pattern out here inside the Euro-Japanese yen. If we take a look at that, I can go ahead and actually draw that in in advance on my uh, screen out here so we can see what that pattern actually looks like. So I know that what we've got is I know that we've got an A to B equals CD down that's completed. We'll go ahead and put a different color in here. Let me put in a uh, yellow, a nice dark yellow out here. Now what's interesting about the A to B equals, uh, well, what's interesting about the Gartley buy pattern that we just formed here. What's interesting about the A to B equals CD down, what's interesting about taking a look at where price has moved along the left-hand side of that chart here, and that's giving us the indication that, you know what, the move, the one-to-one, -one, may not really be its outcome. It more it may more likely be a one-to-1.272. -one well, look what happens at that one-to-one.272. -one you think that would be a buy if you were trading this currency pair? As it would get down there, you would have a .618 retracement. You would have a 1.618 expansion. You know, if you're just listening on your radio or your mobile device at tfn.mobi, don't forget you can get the live stream of this show by going to the homepage of tfn.com. Over on the right-hand side, you'll see those three buttons, uh, little, uh, one button actually with three smartphones on it. Click on that. You'll get this show streaming live or catch the archive on Channel 9. And if we take a look here, so it's got great Fibonacci expansion, uh, 1.618. That's of our B to C leg. That's where I would want to be a buyer, assuming that the bulls came in, of this currency pair. So if, in fact, the Euro-Japanese yen has more movement to the downside, we should see a little bit more weakness in our markets here this morning while this pattern here completes. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. says you can't take it with you. TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesamento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Let's take a look at some of the uh, equities here uh, with their earnings uh, before the bell uh, uh, this morning after the bell last night. we got Franklin Covey. Uh, FC is a ticker symbol. Looks like that is going to break out today above its all-time highs, trading up uh, just another 1%, about $0.17. Cents. Closed out at uh, fourteen fifty last night. Now, I don't know how many of you, you know, if you go back, it was probably back in the uh, early 80s, late 70s, when I first started using a... Uh, uh, of course, we didn't really have uh, much in the way of cell phone. What, what, I can't remember the first cell phone, but uh, that, uh, let me not digress there. Uh, time management systems. How many of you out there use time management systems? You know, maybe you use them now, which are great tools. Uh, but I remember the first time management system that I used was a, uh, a time management system from, uh, from, I can't remember if it was Franklin or Covey. I think it was Franklin. Back then, big old, uh, big old leather binder and book, and you know, just to keep track of what was going on. You know, it was many years later that I attended a workshop, and uh, Stephen Covey was uh, was uh, was doing a uh, a portion of the workshop, and really a great speaker out there. Now, one of the uh, one of the theories that he teaches, in fact, you probably can Google it on the internet. You know, these days, anything you put out in public is immediately out there. Even if it was, you know, private and confidential as part of a workshop. I believe it's called 
the speed of trust. And what he talks about is that there's nothing faster in the life than the speed of trust. And it's really a great workshop. If it is out there on the web, you know, go ahead and download it and read the paper or what have you. He talks about the experiences, like in the case of Warren Buffett. I know, I remember he talks about, uh, this was late, years later when he, uh, when he updated something. He talks about how when Warren Buffett does deals with these folks, you know, many times when people do mergers or acquisitions, what happens, you've got so much due diligence. And that due diligence, you know, can take months and months, and, and there's a cost to all of that. In the case of uh, Buffett, he tells a story about how Buffett has bought number numerous companies for billions of dollars, and he's done it by just simply sitting down with the CEO, asking them basic questions, you know, for example, can I trust these numbers that uh, you've presented to me. And there is nothing, if you think about it in your life, you know, if you take a look at the people you have in your life that you can rely upon, when you own a business or whatever it is you're doing, if you can ask somebody to do something and you can trust them, that is a beautiful thing. Think about the least amount of costs that you have. If, unless it's you give a project to somebody that you really can't necessarily trust out there, then you're always having to almost relook at their work more, you know. So there's a real cost, and so he does a, a workshop uh, called the I think it's called the Speed of Trust. And the reason that I'm even bringing this up here, number one, because it's a great workshop. So if it actually is available on the internet somewhere, uh, it's worth your time. But number two, the patterns that we trade out here. You know, I talked earlier this morning about the four elements of decision making, and what you and the re reason that you have to have strong reasons why is if we go back to that pattern, I'm going to go back to the pattern right now that we're taking a look at on the Euro Japanese Gen. You, you see, because it really doesn't matter what it is as far as the chart that we're actually looking at out here. And the key about any pattern that you trade, for example, I went short the ES Mini yesterday at about 3 o'clock when it was at uh, uh, 1647 out there. I saw a pattern. It's a pattern that I love to trade. You know, the market was moving up, and you probably couldn't find too many people that were willing to say, okay, I'm going to go short the ES Mini right here. It's all about having the speed of trust. It's all about taking these patterns, whatever it is that you trade, having some, you know, having something documented so that you know the success ratio. Now, you have to also understand that not all trades are going to work. That's why you, use, that's why you put stops in place out there. And there is nothing faster than the speed of trust. So when you see your pattern set up, you actually go ahead and you have to take it. You don't have to take it, but I do recommend that you do take it. So if, if you're new to pattern recognition out here, you know, this is what we want to be able to teach you at TFN. We've got great resources, whether they're newsletter services, whether they're workshops that we have out there. There is nothing faster in your life than the speed of trust. And so whatever it is that you're going to trade, and I suggest that you trade these patterns, whether it's retracements, whether it's expansions, whether it's Gartley buy or sell. I like Gartley patterns and A to B equals CD because those are leading indicators. Those are advanced patterns uh, that are out there. And it makes uh, it, it's a, it allows you to make your trading decisions, both where you're going to be entering, where it is that you're looking for your exit. So, you know, you talk about understanding your outcomes ahead of time. There is nothing better than the speed of trust, nothing faster, I should say, and there's nothing better than pattern recognition in order to be able to uh, do that out there. So if we go back here in the markets, uh, pre-market, you've got uh, Franklin Covey. They're up about 1%, about 17 cents right now. Uh, Helen of Troy, H E L E, that's up two and a half percent. That's up a uh, buck eight right now, trading out at uh, forty three oh eight. You've got Ad Tran A D T N is their ticker symbol. They're up uh, ninety nine cents. That's up four percent this morning. Family Dollar Stores, uh, they're up uh, about three and a half percent, up two bucks and fourteen cents. Fastenal, F A S T, they're down uh, just slightly, down thirty six cents. And uh, M S C in Direct Inc. M S M is their ticker symbol. They're down. 92 cents off of about 1%. I uh, will be right back. Go see how these markets are going to open. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely 
completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. With the stock market flirting with all-time highs and volatility back, now is the perfect time for a two-week free trial to Market Insights. On Monday, June 24th, Tom O'Brien closed out all five open positions in his daily newsletter, Market Insights, with all trades being profitable and ranging from a 2.23% gain all the way to more than an 11% gain in just one position for an incredible 32.7% profit combined between the five trades. Let Tom O'Brien's years of market experience work for you. If you'd like to see for yourself what kind of trading newsletter Tom O'Brien delivers to his clients each morning, then now is a perfect time to sign up for a two-week free trial to his daily newsletter, Market Insights. In a volatile market like we currently have, the potential for fast market moves like we've seen recently is a trader's dream. So don't wait any longer. Sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today at the front page of TFNN.com. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts has officially launched at TFNN. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind software, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, and even months searching to find. As part of our introductory pricing, we're offering licenses available at only $59 per month. We're so confident that you'll love this new outstanding piece of charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Lock in your low price today by ordering your copy at TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. To the races. We got the Dow up 18 points, trading out at 15, 319. SP flat down 28 cents right now. Composite uh, flat as well. That's up 53 cents. Russell 2000 flat up uh, two pennies out there. So kind of a quiet market. That's unusual, isn't it? We've got uh, Google's up a buck 67. Apple down three bucks right now off 419. Microsoft up 16 ticks. Intel down 16 ticks. And Cisco up 14. Popping to the upside here, we've got New Skin Enterprises, leader in the clubhouse, up $5.60, up 8% this morning. Very nice. Pharmacyclics, PCYC, they're up 6% uh, here, up 563. Family Dollar Stores, FDO, uh, they're up 2 and a quarter. C -trip com. Uh, co uh, communications, I believe, up a buck thirty nine. That's up four percent. Adtran, ADTN, uh, they're up a buck fifteen. Dollar General, up a buck twenty one. Herbalife, up a dollar three or so. 
To the downside here, Apple leading the charge off a couple of bucks. Actually, it looks like Netflix now in the lead off 342. Rackspace Holdings off 235. Kane Anderson MLP off two bucks. Uh, British uh, American, I don't know, BTI is the ticker symbol. They're off a buck 80. Open Table off a buck uh, 76. And Tesla Motor down a buck 15. So. Let's go, let's see, where do we uh, start here? Let's go around the world. Let's do that. Let's go see what we've got going on across the uh, pond here over in uh, Germany. So we'll start off there. We'll start off with the uh, DAX, see what it is doing right now. The DAX here trade at 80.59. You know, the DAX ran right smack dab into the resistance area of the downdraft from June 20th. The high out there was 80.85.67. Yesterday got to 80.86.95, so just above it, closed back underneath it. I presume it was on lighter volume. I don't have the volume out here. We do have is a rejection of that area. Today, it has not been able to uh, go ahead and tag the high. It's only been up to 80, 81, 21 out there. It did test the uh, low of yesterday, but really just kind of an inside day here. And so we don't have any more information other than we know that inside the DAX here, you got a strong resistance area at the June 20th downdraft area, 80, 85.67. Let's go take a look at the FTSE. And that also... Uh, if, in fact, the DAX does move higher, uh, which, uh, you know, it, it very likely could, that'll form the real sell pattern. you got really two. got two competing sell patterns right here. Number one, you have price moving up right into the downdraft area. So it's testing a breakout, a breakdown, I should say. And, you know, we try to buy breakouts. When, and when you buy a breakout, you've got always two different levels that you're going to be taking a look at. You're going to be taking a look at the, uh, at the top of the gap. You're going to be taking a look at the bottom of the gap. And in essence, that's what we're doing here. Now, what is nice about the uh, top of this gap here, meaning the June 19th candle, is just above the uh, low. The low there is 81.60. And at 82.13, you've got a really nice Gartley sell pattern out there. So if, in fact, the DAX can ever close inside this gap here, meaning above 80.85.60, 67, that would be the pattern that would unfold. But we do have a failure of a break uh, down area here, and it's really just above the 0 .382 retracement level. So, uh, so you've got two competing sell patterns going on inside the DAX right now. We take a look here at the uh, FTSE. We'll pull the FTSE up here. Uh, the FTSE is uh, really very close to or may have made it. So let's see if there was an A to B equals CD. Let's see if there is a new Gertley uh, cell pattern that has or is forming out here. Yeah, it looks like it has formed. Oh, well, take a look at that Fibonacci relationship of numbers. So in this morning's trading inside the FTSE, it got up to 63, I'm sorry, 65 35 91. Now, right above that at 65.52 is your exact 0.618 retracement. But, you know, we what we do here is we take a look at these numbers as guidelines, just like uh, just like in, uh, uh, what's the name of that, the Pirates of the Caribbean, just like Jack Sparrow or whoever it was, one of the characters there. And it's really just a guideline so that you know where the area is. Now, what's also interesting here. At the price level of 65.35.91, it was a 2.618 expansion of your B to C swing point. And when we take a look at expansion and contraction numbers, <clears throat> expansion, you're looking at 1.272, 1.618, and 2.618 inside the marketplace. Well, you just hit one of those uh, as well as a contraction number, your 0.618, which is your normal expected bounce of any move. A to B equals CD down, watch, well, like, or between swing points. So, the FTSE here has completed its pattern to the upside. That is a sell pattern. We don't have the real sell signal, at least on the daily chart. You wouldn't get a sell signal on this until you would see a close today, for example. If you got a close below 64.50 out there and you're at 64.95, you would have your sell signal on this Gartley sell. So over in Europe right now, we've got uh, a definite sell pattern here without the signal, the confirmation, maybe I should say. And we have the uh, DAX, which has run into a resistance area. So if these markets work in unison out here, taking a look at what's going on around the world is helpful to us. So now let's not stop in Europe. Let's just go uh, over to, uh, let's go across the uh, the Pacific, and let's go take a look at what we have going on in the Nikkei. In the Nikkei, that had formed, how about this, the same pattern. You'd almost think we're looking at the same chart. The Nikkei and the FTSE look exactly the same. What do I mean by that? We have a 0.618 retracement off of its high. It's May 23rd high out there, down to the low. In the case of the uh, Nikkei, the low is put in on June 13th. Forget about the dates. Take a look at that expansion, a 2.618 expansion of that B to C swing point out there. Uh, so you've got the expansion. You've got your um, you've got your uh, 0.618 retracement, and in the 
in the Nikkei, unlike the FTSE <clears throat> out here, we did get the reversal signal. Yeah, it was a key reversal day on July 8th out there. The high of that was uh, 14 uh, 497. That was tested here last night, and then it was rejected. You got up to 14555 inside the Nikkei, closed at 14416. So you have a confirmed Gartley uh, sell pattern out here. So now we've got uh, three markets that we've looked at overseas that have given us the signal, sell signals out here. Sell, one, in one case, we got a sell signal, total sell signal, and that's in the Nikkei. Inside the uh, FTSE and the DAX, we know we're up against resistance. We don't have the uh, we don't necessarily have the confirmation with the bearish candle that I like to see out there. Maybe we're going to get that uh, today out here. We, and, and if we get that today, it means we're going to see a significant reversal in the marketplace. Now, we've got Uncle Ben, I believe, is out with his, uh, the report, the FOMC report at around 2, 2.15, something like that. And then I think Uncle Ben, because he knows how he moves the markets out here, you know, he's not speaking until about 4 o'clock, until the market closes today out here. So it's going to be the release of, well, we already know he has said out there, and it's going to be a matter of how the markets are going to go ahead and take that information and actually parse it. But now we've taken a look at three charts here around the world that have given us sell signals. Let's not stop here. Let's go check out uh, two other ones. Let's go check out the Hang Seng. Let's go see what it has done out here. And the Hang Seng is basically miserable. When I say miserable, we're going to first take a look at the uh, level here, the gap down, the breakdown. We're going, we're going back to June 19th as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a uh, black line across my screen. And what the, uh, what the uh, uh, Hang Seng did here last night, all, their, all the Hang Seng is doing, number one, it's working off an oversold condition. But all it did was get down to the top of the gap, meaning the June 19th low out there, which is, 2896. It closed at 2904. That's close enough for uh, me out here. It also has some resistance, which it did test. This is a bar from uh, July 2nd, uh, which was a rejection of that breakdown area. And if we take a look at retracements, <coughs> excuse me, it hasn't, well, let me, let me pull this back here. I need to go take a look at this. Give me a second. Let's go take a look at the retracement. Big retracement of this uh, 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD down that was formed out here. Let's go see if it's even made. The, it has not even made the dead cat bounce. It has not made it up to the 0.382 level, which is 21,152 out there, and that is in the Hang Seng. So it, too, has come into a resistance area. And if this is not the end of this move here, you're talking about a huge A to B equals CD down, continued huge A to B equals CD down inside the Hang Seng. And where will that take it to? Well, let's go take a look at the likely targets here. We're going to come off of the lows back in June of 2012 out here. And what it did, well, it's going to make the 100% move of a move. So if this is the end of the bounce inside the Hang Seng, the Hang Seng's next target is going to be 18056 or so, right around that level. But the Hang Seng, at least confirming that it, too, is up against a resistance area. So we're seeing unison now here in four of the four markets that we've looked at overseas. So let's go finish this off. Let's go take a look at the uh, Shanghai out here. And as we take a look at the Shanghai, let me update uh, this uh, chart out here. Uh, this here has a – now, this this one actually has the uh, the best – uh, bullish pattern and the best bullish pattern from the standpoint that it formed a 1.272 butterfly buy pattern it did that on june 25th and it did it with a big hammer candle that is a wide-ranging bar if you will uh, not really wide-ranging we'll call it a wide-ranging candle with a really large wick there and that is a very bullish candle of a uh, type uh, candle uh of four types of hammer candles out there that's a type uh, that's a type two but that's a, that type two can uh, i take that as a type one any day out there with regard to being able to identify where the uh, bulls, where support is. And support here, significant support inside the Shanghai is at 1935. Uh, and so the hammer has uh, hammer has really held up uh, well here. If we take a look at the retracement that the uh, market has done, we go from the uh, swing point from February 18th down to the hammer candle, February 18th of 2012, by the way, uh, I'm sorry, 2013, down to the hammer candle from uh, June 25th out there. What it hasn't done, the bounce here has been pretty meager, oh, not even a .382 bounce. So 21.73 should be the minimum expectation. Uh, but what we are taking a look at here is the candle from June 24th, which is where our markets made a uh, low out here. All it's doing is trading inside that. But this 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 pattern here is more bullish than bearish out there. So we got four of the five markets worldwide that are up against some significant resistance and or patterns that are sell patterns in the uh, marketplace. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, our index futures out here. Let's go see what uh, they're actually 
uh, doing. Give me a moment here. Let's pull up the daily charts of uh, these futures contracts. And the Russell 2000, that's going to be a key one for us to be paying attention to. The Russell 2000 got up over the May 22nd uh, swing point high, that number 1,008.40. Uh, this may be setting up a... Uh, a, a butterfly pattern, a 1.272 expansion. That would be your normal uh, move off of May 22nd's high down to the low that was put in here on June 24th. That level would be 1027 out here. Uh, yesterday was a test of the uh, breakout. Uh, the, this actually closed slightly above May 22nd. It did that on uh, Monday as it closed out at 1009. Yesterday we saw a test of that area and a rejection and a move higher. So we're going to need to pay attention to the uh, small caps. You know, not that they necessarily can buoy the market, but it does look like they have the ability to spike up another 10 points. That would be a good move. Maybe it's a little bit more than 10 points because if we take a look at A to B equals CD patterns, I believe the A to B equals CD just slightly above the uh, 1.272 expansion. So the range here on any further moves to the upside inside the Russell would take it to uh, between 1028 and 1033 uh, would be its next target of the uh, move. Any break back below the uh, level of uh, 1,008.40, and this was nothing more than a false break topside. But the, uh, the Russell 2000, absolutely the strongest uh, index out there at the uh, moment. If we take a look at the uh, NASDAQ uh, futures out here, <clears throat> NASDAQ futures still trading inside the uh, June 19th area. So they've not, gotten up, they've not gotten up to the top of that bar, which is 29.99 out there. Uh, today here trading out at 29.82. So really just kind of uh, flat from yesterday's close, but they've not given us a reversal signal. <clears throat> Price could or should at least go test that June 19th high at 29.99. Again, it's trading at 29.84 at the moment. So no reversal signal here just yet and or any pattern inside the NQ. If we take a look here at the uh, uh, S&P futures contract, a little bit different story out here. Yesterday, what it did was it tagged the June 19th high. 1649 is the uh, number. That is the June 19th high. And what it did yesterday, it got up to uh, 1649, backed off a bit, closed out at 1647. Uh, so far today, the high is uh, 16. 48 to 25. If, in fact, we get a close today above 1649, its next potential sell pattern would be right at about the 1661, 1663 mark. You'd have a nice 2.68 expansion of your B to C swing point out there. We go take a look here at the uh, Dow Futures. The Dow Futures trying to complete their patterns, and this is going to be a completion. This would be a completion of three different patterns in the marketplace. Number one would be an A to B equals CD. That's coming off a of June 24th low at 14.474. That's your A point, your B point would be the level of July 1st, that high 15.012, a two-day retracement back into the 14.752 range, 1 to 1, A to B equals CD, would complete at 15.288. So far, the interest session high today is 15.261, so it's got a little bit of ways to go up there. As well, we can see the swing point high from June 19th, that's at 15.278. So the number I gave you before was 15.288, the completion of the 1 to 1, A to B equals CD. And then we've got the uh, 0.786 retracement of the entire move down May 22nd to June 24th. That number comes in at 15.299. So that is the target number for the Dow before it would complete three different uh, patterns out there. The only thing then needed would, in fact, be a reversal candle inside the uh, marketplace. So I take a look here at the uh, at the New York Stock Exchange. Let me see what it is doing right now. You got the New York Stock Exchange is up a uh, dollar sixty. So uh, not a, a big move there, and uh, net advancing issues of 64 as we speak right now. Our call in number is 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Take a hands-on approach to managing your investments. And whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. 
bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed down a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, the Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. we got the uh, Dow up 21 right now. S&P uh, totally flat up 80 cents. Uh, composite up 6. Russell 2000 up uh, 1. And if we take a look at X1, X1 is one of the 3D software companies out here. Had a nice IPO. If you take, well, this is the exact opposite of, for example, of Facebook out here. February 7th comes out with the IPO. The low is 23 dollars the high twenty seven seventy five. It's trading at sixty nine bucks right now. Been pretty much a uh, one heck of a, a nice move to the upside. Now, what it's doing here this morning is coming back and testing the uh, the, re the resistance area that was set up by this bearish engulfing uh, candle right here on the uh, trading session of July third out there. So, all in the top of that. 
resistance really would be or support it should be now is the high of July 3rd which is uh, 6690 it's traded down as low this morning at 6607 252,000 shares after making a high yesterday with 874,000 so you got a little bit of volume coming out of it uh, today uh, if this thing ever does fall out of bed, what you've got to be concerned with is this high volume bar back on May 15th out at the 4580 range out there. But right now, all that it's doing is coming back and testing an old area of resistance, which it got above, and it got above that on July 8th, uh, three trading sessions ago, and just coming back and testing that area. Let's go to uh, Victor in Paramus, New Jersey. Victor, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. How are you doing? That MUJ hit the 1366. I want to see where you think it's going next. Is the bond fund and uh, Intel? Tell me where you think that's going. MUJ. Now you're looking. <clears throat> you are looking to uh, go ahead and take this to the long side. Is that correct on MUJ? Yeah, you wanna... just for just for a bounce. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's going to bounce or bounce down. Sure. And MUJ, folks, that is the municipal bonds uh, bond fund out here, and the uh, 1380ish range. Uh, I believe, Victor, you might have called, and we were taking a look at nothing more than the retracement off of the low from January 14th of uh, 2011 all the way up to the high that was put in on 12-12-12 uh, out there. And the point seven eight six retracement level, folks, was 1364. Uh, now, here's the problem with uh, that I see with with regard to this stock chart. We were also looking at a A to B equals CD down pattern, which it has completed, but... Victor, if you're watching on uh, on uh, Tiger TV or inside the den, price is still really well inside that C to D leg, and the one to one A to B equals C to D is 1390. I think 1327 is more likely uh, the target uh, range, 1326 or so. And then if it can get down there, it might as well just go make a hundred percent move of a move and get all the way Where's back to the January. Uh, that's about twelve dollars and sixty three cents out there. So right now. All that it's really done here over the past uh, couple of weeks was worked off an oversold uh, condition, you know, in its bounce out here. So I don't see, I think what you would be better off to do is to play any bounce and look at this from the short side versus trying really? to uh, get get in the way. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to get in the way. What's Bernanke going to do today? Is Bernanke going to say something that's really going to affect the markets or what? That's the whole No uh, idea. I, no idea. You know, I, I, I have... Uh, I, you know, I'd love to get the minutes ahead of time, and then I would love to be able to answer your question for you, and we put on some great trades. But uh, I have no I, I think all he's going to say, all the minutes are going to say, is what's already been said, you know, and what we uh, we know that they're going to uh, be tapering at some point in time, and the markets have shown us that they just simply do not like that. We've seen volume to the downside. We have seen light volume on this bounce to the upside. And so, you know, markets are just completing the completing normal patterns out there. But, uh, you know, I can do uh, the show is just about to end here, Victor. During the next show, I'll go ahead and take I'll take a look at Intel for you. All righty? Okay, thanks. You, thanks, you bet. Thanks. Yep, you bet. Thanks for calling. Uh, folks, it is a wonderful Wednesday, and uh, stay tuned because we've got a great uh, lineup here. Uh, following uh, this show, we got the Money Master, so stay tuned. Hour number two, and then we got Basil Chapman. we got uh, Larry Pesavento, Daryl Martin, David White, the whole crew. Always remember, folks, you have an amazing power within yourself. That power is so strong, it'll create a life of abundance, cure incurable diseases. But most of all, folks, create fantastic, loving families. Thanks so much for being a part of the TFN family. Look forward to seeing you in a few. Take care, folks. Nowhere, spelled N-O-W-H-E-R-E. At one point, we've all been there. Whether it be our health, career, or our finances, some might be there right now. So where are you when it comes to your trading and investing? Better yet, where would you like to be? The good news? I can take you from nowhere to now here right now. Same letters, N-O-W-H-E-R-E, just a totally different emphasis and focus. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN, and on July 25th at 6.30 p.m., I'm going to share with you a trading strategy that I began on May 10th when the S&P was at 1627 and closed at the same price eight weeks later. That's right, the S&P went nowhere versus a trading strategy that produced a 100% hypothetical return in that same period of time, and it's now here for you. Subscribers to my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability, have free access to this exciting live workshop. The trend is your friend. All the details are on the homepage of TFNN.com. Decisions shape your destiny, and your trading destiny is now here for you.